Today we're celebrating Our Lady of Fatima, so let us continue our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, Grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song, Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let's go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, it is in it are all set up the judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless uh, it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into the fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my word remain, words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel, the Lord is calling all of us to remain close to him so that we might be like, the, like a vine, part of the vine, with life in us always growing and giving what Jesus has given to us and bearing fruit for him. Well, many years ago, in 1981, in fact, when I... A year after I was ordained, I had a chance to go with another priest to be the chaplain on a trip to Fatima, which was really thrilling. And so as we went there, we went to see the various parts of the, the area known as Fatima. And it was very thrilling because we were all excited to hear more about Our Lady, which we had read about, I had read about at least, and I knew some things, but I didn't know as much as I could know. So we went on the trip, and we learned that, that in 1917, our Blessed Mother appeared to three children, three young children in Fatima. Those three children were Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta. They were out in the field mending their sheep, and they were playing games. And Jacinta had, had this little game she used to pray because they would pray the rosary before they would eat and so they started saying this hail mary and waiting for the echo to come back hail mary and they would say a shortened version of the rosary and as they did that they came to have a greater love of mary but soon on one day on may 13th way back in 1917 a a a little light, a little cloud came and appeared to them. And they, uh, from that cloud came a voice of a lady. And the lady says, please pray your rosary, do reparation for sins, and be good to others. Well, she said, I will come back on the 13th of every month for the rest of the year up until October. So on the next five months she came, so for six times, the Blessed Mother came, the Lady of, of the Cloud came, and finally, in the, on the last month, she said in October that she was the Lady of the Rosary. She was the Blessed Mother, the Mother of Jesus. And on that day, there was a great miracle of the, of the sun in Fatima, in which the sun came very close to the earth and was spinning around, and it had been raining for days. And as it came closer, everything was dried up. All the mud was dried up. People were able to walk that hadn't been able to before. And the miracle was proclaimed all over the world. And so since then, people have gathered to pray on this day, honoring Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of the Rosary, and, so, and, make a, and also asked to make reparation for sins. So as we gather today, let us think in our, in our own lives how we might be able to say a rosary a day or, or even a decade of the rosary or even a Hail Mary, asking God to help there to be the end of wars, the end of evil, and even the end of the coronavirus, and asking Mary to watch over us and help us 
to be strong because we know that she is able to help us through her graces to be good. So hopefully we can say the rosary more often and do so in reparation to make up for sins of all people. Now let us stand and bring our prayers before the Lord. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are baptized in the church, may the grace of our baptism and our participation in the life of the sacraments strengthen our commitment to Christ and the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who exercise leadership on a world, national, or local stage, may the power of the Holy Spirit guide them in their service to their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and all in need of God's healing this day, may the hope of the resurrection bring them strength, and may God look graciously upon them in their need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may the Spirit of Christ continue to nourish us and help us to bear fruit for the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the glory of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Valensky, who this Mass is offered for, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those special intentions we keep in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And also today we pray in reparation for sins committed against the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of Our Lady of Fatima, this celebration today. We thank you for all the good that our Blessed Mother has done for us through the centuries. And we ask you to help us to live a life of prayer, sacrifice, and love towards others. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me. Pray, my friends, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the humanity of our only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid, and may he who, at his birth from the Virgin Mary, did not diminish but consecrated her integrity, by being taken from us now in our wicked, from our wicked deeds and make our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints, and especially during this Easter season as we come today to honor the Blessed Virgin Mary as Our Lady of Fatima. For truly, even on earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her 
the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks who've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, <clears throat> lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. 
Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter in my room. When you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Since we are unable to share in the physical reception of the Eucharist today, let us join in praying an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary and grant, we pray that it may be for us who are joined today in the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth and eternal salvation who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's pray the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hope everybody has a great day today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord and each other.